107.5 WGCI, Tony Score in the morning, Ryan, what? and Mastermind was supposed to come out today, but it dropped a little it, early Tony? and came out yesterday. Can Go I ahead, hit it, hit it man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, we got my man Rick Ross on the line this morning. What's up, boss? How you feeling, what's baby? Up? Rose, Rose, what's up? And your crib got four clothes? What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, Ross, I got to say, man, uh, early reviews have already been uh, out on the Master Buy, and they've been pretty good so far, with some people going as far as to say it may be your best work. Now, I want to know, where do you put it as far as your catalog is concerned? Where do you rate Mastermind? You know, you know, this most definitely is the album I put the most into. So this is, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to just say, you know, off the rip, but I put more into this album. I put more time, you know what I'm saying? I caress this one like a young lady, you hear me? <laughs> you, know, um, you know, it just feel good to see the early responses, but I think I'm going to be able to make my decision in another week or two. Well, you know, uh, you've done so many different collaborations on this album, like The Weeknd, Jay-Z with The Devil's Alive, Kanye, Kanye West. West. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Which out of all of those collaborations was most interesting to you and why? You know, you know, all of, all of them was, you know, special for different reasons. You know, me and Jay-Z, just for that DNI 6 collaboration, you know, uh, that, that's a big move, you know what I mean? And that's big. And, you know, to release six dope records with the homie, that's big. As well as, um, you know, being in, uh, uh, collaborating with Kanye West and Big Sean on the record Sanctified. Yes, sir. I got to uh, thank the beautiful Miss Betty Wright for that soul, yeah. you know, chorus. And, you know, you know, we've spent a lot of time putting that record together as well. You know, so for different reasons, I love different records. So the Thug Cry featuring Lil Wayne, you know, that's a classic tune sheet. All right, then you also got a collaboration with Young Jeezy on here. Talk about you two guys stepping up as men, burying the hatchet from your past difficulties and working together again. Yeah, most definitely. You know, we ran into each other, man, and, and it was really, you know, just us putting a small talk to the side, mm -hmm. you know, bossing up, and that's what we did. You know, we both realized, you know, uh, what we do and what we got bigger than, you know, both of us. You know, this about the culture, this about the game, this about the South. You know, set them examples for the next set of entrepreneurs, you know, to show them how to get straight to the money. Ross, I want to ask you, man, how do you, how do you uh, monitor your, your levels? What I mean, like, you go from different vibes, from the devil is a lie to the eerie, the eerie, big reminiscing nobody. Oh, man, that's then the point. You, that's then the you joke. go to war ready. How do you get in your mindset to go to each different record like that and put that emotion and passion in each one in its own art? Man, I think that's what, you know, when I think about the records I'm going to do, that's what separates you as an artist. Who can do, you know, who can, you know, go to those different levels and do them the best. You know what I mean? And, you know, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. But it's about, you know, when you're putting that album together, that, you know, you know, you know, when they're going for that ride, that they feel it all. You know, that they feel all that, you know, and, and that's most definitely something I wanted, you know, people to feel, you know, that soulful side from Sanctified to that Geech Liberace. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. on stage with 14 yeah. chains on and my jacket wide open, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's most definitely them zones that I be focusing on as well. We're talking to Rick Ross, the boss, Ricky Rose. You know, we've been knowing each other for quite some time. Can we ask you something personal? Because, you know, 50 Cent has been putting out these Instagram photos and it's been coming up a lot. I'd like to hear you, you know, put your take out on it. A photo of, you know, you, Diddy, Steve Stout. He's like starting some beef. What do you feel about that? You know, I feel like this culture is a stadium. And if we was in the stadium, I point up at the scoreboard. Mm, wow. We winning. Mm. We winning. I ain't got time for that. We winning. Wow. Hey, let's talk about yeah. the, the song Nobody. You mentioned it earlier, and I thought, man, you know what? It's a great tribute to the late, great, notorious B.I.G. How did you come about putting that record together, and what inspired you to do a tribute to my man, to the late, great MC? You know, just being in the studio, just being me and, me and French Montana being in the studio, and um, French played the instrumental, and, you know, I just got him, you know, you know, I just gave him that eye like it's time to go to work. So when I actually, you know, finished the record, you know, even before I took it to Puff, you know, I reached out to D-Rock, uh, who 
was actually B.I.G.'s right hand right man. Right man, right. You know, he, he unfortunately was, you know, in ride with B.I.G. the night B.I.G. passed. So, you know, you know, I wanted him to hear the record, you know, you know, you know, just so I could get the vibes of this, this is something I What was D-Rock's take on the record when he heard it? Man, you know, he just, you know, he took his time, man, but ultimately, man, he, you know, he, he, as, as you see, man, he, he showed it love, you know. Showed the love. He gave me a few of them classic B.I.G. stories. Nice. And he showed the record love, and he wanted to see it hit the streets. And, you know, that's when I took him to Puff, and you know, we went to work. Went to ad libs. Rick Ross, man. Hey, man. It, the, the mastermind is doing is gonna do great. Uh, we're not even worried about that. But now you were in Magic City. I loved your role in that, in that, in Magic City. Can we see more from Rick Ross on the acting side? Will a big homie get in front of that camera? And will Maybach Music, because you're a big enough entity now, will you start pushing out films? Man, you know, uh, I'm glad you asked that big homie, because Maybach Films, we most definitely shoot our first film this year. Wow. End of this year, we most definitely, you know, filming our first motion picture. And uh, I might need the team. I need to make y'all come out and hold me down. Well, you got we writers, there, man. We, there. Yeah, we got right writers on day. deck. That. <laughs> hey, you great. got that from us, man. We got writers on deck. We got actors on deck. We got whatever you need. But we want to congratulate you, man, on your latest project, yes. Mastermind. <laughs> you guys need to get out to the stores, support the big homie, Rose, man. I have a request. Aston Martin Music was one of my favorite songs with Christophe Michelle on it. It's very, very sexy. I never get sick of it. Can we get another sexy one for the females like that, too, okay? Most definitely, you know, and this album I did one with the weekend type, right. man. Yes, sir. Hey, that I want crazy. all the ladies to go and check that out right now. Hey, and you probably should say happy birthday to Chicago. Today is our 177th birthday. Oh, shot town, happy birthday. <laughs> happy 177, and I wish you another 177. Seven, baby. Well, all Much right, man. We appreciate you, Ross, man. Thanks for all that you do, man. And keep on doing it, man. Yo, weekdays starting at 5 a.m. Only on GCI.